So climate change, wh why is it important? Global warming, why, why is it important? Um, you know, the, the science is pretty clear and I think we're seeing the effects uh, in the environment already. That's pretty clear, you know, in terms of glaciers melting, changes in temperature, average temperatures around the world. So what does a, a hotter world mean? It means that there's issues around water scarcity, there's issues around heat waves and how regularly they occur, there's um, issues around the degradation of land, uh, what does that mean for uh, agriculture, for food production, uh, and then there's flow on results, you know, there could be forced migration, it could lead to poverty. Uh, so um, it, it's a real theme, we're seeing it already in markets, uh, companies that are involved in fossil fuels, it does appear, for example, that they're trading at lower multiples, at lower earnings multiples. So the idea that the world needs to change, that certain companies will be winners and certain companies will be losers, is already being reflected in the market. The Paris Agreement of 2015 saw broad agreement amongst the, the major economies that the world should generally head towards a zero carbon economy, uh, net zero emissions. Now that's very hard to achieve because our economy relies on fossil fuels at the moment. But there are certain areas that are producing the most emissions and they are electricity production with using fossil fuels, uh, transportation and the burning of fossil fuels and uh, food and agricultural production. So within each of those broad themes, what are the sub themes? What are the sub themes that represent how each of those particular areas must reduce their carbon imprint? And this is where we get the winners, the companies that are going to be the winners. So that first four sub-themes, the first sub-theme is electricity generation using other than fossil fuels. So fossil fuel substitution. And obviously wind, solar, those companies involved uh, in uh, both producing it and in the supply chain for the equipment. Uh, energy capture, if you're producing energy with these renewable type of um, uh, technologies, you need some way to store the energy and also companies that are involved in more efficient uh, electricity production. The second sub-theme is uh, what we call transition champions. So we all recognise that we have to use fossil fuels at the moment. You can't just turn off fossil fuels. It will create poverty. Things, you know, the world wouldn't turn, uh, particularly for emerging markets uh, where renewable energy is less prevalent. But there are uh, companies who acknowledge they're selling fossil fuels to generate revenue, but they're trying to create a net zero outcome. And then finally, uh, those companies um, that are involved in the electrification of engines, so transportation. How do we make transportation less carbon, carbon um, dense? And electrification of engines is the obvious way, and there's plenty of examples of that, e.g. Tesla. Um, you know, although we could argue about Tesla and its particular merits, but uh, electrification. Electrification is a long way away uh, in terms of airlines and freight, uh, trucks, trains. Uh, the, the technology is not quite there yet, but it will come. But in the meantime, things like railways, uh, where you can move lots of freight, lots of people, if it's people, in a very efficient way and use fuel efficiently. So we think that's an interesting theme, railways. And the final sub theme, uh, and I'll finish on this, is that companies that uh, uh, are involved in making food production more efficient. Uh, technology around precision sowing, uh, precision, precision watering, uh, um, dealing with water scarcity. Uh, these type of companies, uh, they're the winners of the future.